Hi there. You know, yesterday two very important geopolitical as well as geoeconomic statements came out of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. One from the Minister of Energy, who is also the brother of uh, Prince uh, MBS, Crown Prince MBS, and another statement from their finance minister. Their uh, energy minister says that uh, we would not sell oil to any country that would put a price cap on us. So he is saying that they are not going to sell oil to any country that will put a price cap on Saudi oil. So what does this mean? This means that something is going on in America and they along with their allies, Americans and the Western camp may put sanctions on Saudi Arabia and may also put some kind of price capping on Saudi Arabia's oil industry. He further says that it, the NOPEC law is irrational. So my take is that America is going to introduce the NOPEC law as well. They will bring the NOPEC bill in their parliament, in their congress, in their upper house, senate and I think that will sail because somewhat bipartisan consent, consent is there for the NOPEC bill and what is NOPEC? You all know what is OPEC, OPEC oil producing countries, it's the, you can say it, it's a cartel, you can say it's an association, whatever you say, plus Russia, it makes OPEC plus. So NOPEC means no OPEC. That is the oil and under which uh, that is that is the bill and uh, under if this bill becomes an act in America then these countries or their policies or their policy makers or the officials of their companies can be prosecuted under the US law. So this will also be having repercussions that was the warning given by the energy minister of Saudi Arabia and they also said that then what will happen we will reduce the oil production and it is going to affect the global energy markets. So they are actually warning. Then another big statement a geopolitical as well as geoeconomic statement comes from the finance minister of Saudi Arabia and he says that Saudi investments into Iran could happen very quickly. So what does this indicate? This indicates that number one, the West is about to punish Saudi Arabia for its rapprochement with Iran. And number two, Saudi is going to strike back because this is not a unipolar movement. And why I am talking about this? Because you all know that I don't want to see a global hegemony or even a regional hegemony in any region by Chinese. And if West puts sanction on Saudi Arabia, which is the de facto leader of Gulf Corporation, Council, GCC countries, then it will push Saudi Arabia into the lap of Chinese the like of which we have seen with Iran. We should not forget that both Iran and Saudi Arabia for decades were in the American camp. First, it was the exit of Iran and now we are also seeing the exit of Saudi Arabia. So this must be stopped, but it can't be stopped by putting sanctions or arm twisting Saudi Arabia. Why I am saying that? Because the sim because the simple reason that this is no more a unipolar world, it's a multipolar world and there are multiple poles and countries can choose these poles and countries can enjoy the freedom of foreign policy, the f they can enjoy their sovereignty. So America should think about all these aspects and they should not lose the good allies or good partners who stayed with them for decades and decades together. And for that, what they should do? My humble advice to them is become humble. Stop bullying your allies and partners.
stop weaponization of dollar and over stretch of sanction regime and they should also start considering the sensitivities of individual countries because every country in this world have particular sensitivities you can't be insensitive for other countries sensitivities and foremost the americans should stop celebrating the people like of Francis Fukuyama who used to write the end of history during the unipolar movement is simply because there is no unipolar movement in the world right now and I am once again saying if America overreaches the sanction regime puts sanction on Saudi Arabia that will bring Saudi Arabia into Chinese camp and that, that's what I don't like I don't want forget my liking I don't want because I don't want to see a Chinese hegemony. So it's high time that Americans must become humble and rectify their act. Thank you.